this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a piece I did today called Woody Blues. And you'll see why. <laughs> so right now I'm mixing my paints. I thought I'd show you some of the process. This is a PBO white that I got a tube on sale. And I've added some Floetrol. And I've added a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. Just a squirt. It's a little bit thinner than what I wanted for the purpose of this pour. So I'm going to add just a squirt of the Sargent Pearl Mixing Medium. And I think I've said it before, but if you ever have a problem with your paint being too thin for your pour, you can thicken it up. And you saw that was just two little squirts. And actually it thickened up quite a bit as it sat after I mixed all the other paints. So these are the colors I've chosen. Uh, there's two PBO Dyna colors, a gold and a lime green, Arteza's turquoise pearl, a color shift blue, and black. And I forgot there's that deep royal blue metallic. I think it's called Master's Touch and that's Venetian blue and it is gorgeous and you get it at Michael's. So I've added my Floetrol and I'm giving everybody a good stir. You want to be very thorough. Um, you want it to be completely mixed. And the key for this pour, which is going to be a flip and drag fantastical creature, question mark, you want all your paints to be the same consistency, including the base paint, which is my white PBO. Um, the two PBO paints needed a little squirt of water just to get them uh, to the same consistency as the other paints. And everybody got about a teaspoon of the Liquitex pouring medium. The reason I'm using the pouring medium is I want the cells to maintain their shape uh, after the flip and drag. So a little teaspoon in each color does wonders. Now for this one, I am also adding some silicone to four of the paints. And I'm only doing three drops in each. And after I do that, it's very little stirring. You don't want to break the silicone down too much because you want lovely big cells. So probably six to nine stirs, uh, just enough to get it blended in.
layering my paints into these little shot glasses and I'm using black between each color. Just, I love to have the contrast. I'm going back to where I started over a year ago and when I was doing uh, flip and drags and I really did love the results. This was one of the techniques I used very early on and it's where the fantastical creatures began. So I was, I'm trying to go back and do it again. And that's not always easy. Okay, so I put my white base coat down. I, I thought I turned the camera on. I turned the camera off and this happened. A wonderful dragon. So I had flipped my cup and dragged it and the cells are magnificent. He's really good looking, but I wanted him on video and it didn't happen. And I'm, I'm so sorry because I get frustrated, which, yeah, yeah, it can lead to a swipe.
there's nothing quite like silicone when you're doing a swipe. I love, I love the cells that you get and the, the, the mixture of colors in each cell. They're outlined with different shades. Funny thing is, uh, the turquoise pretty much disappeared and the royal blue, gold, and black took over. There was nothing left of the color shift except for in a few cells. Now, when I did this swipe and I saw the gold coming up through the white, I realized I really like that. So I will proceed to go and add some gold to the top of the swipe areas to, uh, onto the black. And when I put my paper towel down, my damp paper towel, I want to pick up a bit of white paint to pull it over the gold and the black. So you'll see I repeat that and I do like it a lot better than having the black at the top of these swipes. So you can see also that adding the gold over the black and then swiping it down creates some dimension as well. So that the black is under the gold. I really love the cell creation here and I'm really actually quite pleased in spite of the fact that I ruined a really wonderful dragon. So I named this Moody Blues. I, th I just love all the pretty little bits. Some of these cells are magnificent. Uh, what colors came through were the gold, the royal blue. There's a touch of the turquoise metallic. There's a touch of the lime green and the color shift shows up very, in very small ways in some of the cells. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this please subscribe, uh, share it if you like, add a comment. All of this helps me get a little more exposure on YouTube 
and I've been building my channel slowly. There's 5,660 some people who have subscribed and I'm grateful for every single one of them. And as I always say, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. It's what the world needs more of right now. Thanks again. Bye. Oh, and if you're still here, do check back on Sunday morning. Uh, I had a lot of fun with my friends Sarah Mack and Mina Villegas, and I taught them how to do fantastical creatures. So it's a three-way collaboration. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, there'll be three completely different videos, one on each of our channels. So I hope you'll uh, check it out. It, it was a lot of fun. And it was challenging, I think. Thanks.